Hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Hannah and this is Jar of Fireflies. Here I make videos all about my life as an Orthodox Jewish homeschooling mother of four. And today I'll be telling you about the high holidays. So you've probably heard the term high holidays before, but what exactly are the high holidays? That's what we're gonna be talking about today. All right, so let's just dive right in. So the high holiday season actually begins in the month of Elul, which is the Jewish month prior to when the high holidays begin in Tishrei. During the month of Elul, we will blow the shofar every weekday, and this is like a call to our souls to return to God in preparation for the sacred days that are coming. So the first of the high holidays, once the month of Tishrei comes, is Rosh Hashanah. Rosh Hashanah literally means head of the year. It is the first day of the year on the Jewish calendar, Jewish New Year's. Rosh Hashanah is the birthday of the universe and it is the day that Hashem, God, created Adam and Chava, Adam and Eve, the very first people. We observe Rosh Hashanah by lighting candles in the evening and refraining from doing work, as well as having festive meals throughout the holiday which generally include very sweet foods. In my family, we like to incorporate a lot of honey and dried fruits into our various dishes that we will serve. And of course, tasty sweet desserts. And during the services, during Rosh Hashanah, we will also blow the shofar in the morning. This year, Rosh Hashanah begins at sundown on September 25th and ends after nightfall on Tuesday, September 27th. I have several videos about Rosh Hashanah that I will link to in the description box below if you would like some more details and see some of our prep and that sort of thing. Okay, so a week later after Rosh Hashanah, we have the holiday of Yom Kippur. This is the Day of Atonement. Yom Kippur is a very solemn holiday. It is a fast day for us. We refrain from many things on Yom Kippur, like marital relations, bathing, wearing leather shoes, and of course, we don't eat. Now, this is a full fast. This means we do not eat or drink for about 26 hours because we begin before the sun goes down and it ends after nightfall. Yom Kippur is the holiest day of the year. It's the day that we are closest to God. So with all the things that we're not doing on Yom Kippur, what we are doing is praying. This year, Yom Kippur begins before sundown on October 4th and ends after nightfall on Wednesday, October 5th. I have a video that I will link to in the description box below about Yom Kippur, where I did it kind of vlog style, where I filmed going into Yom Kippur. And then after Yom Kippur, I turned the camera back on again so you could see what happens then, as well as I did a little chatty thing about how Yom Kippur, the actual day, went for me. And I have information in that video about more about what Yom Kippur is and that sort of thing. So if you'd like more information on Yom Kippur, check that out in the description box below. All right, now the high holidays don't end there. There's still more coming. It's like a month of fun. As a matter of fact, we take an entire month off of school in my house for the high holidays because there are just so many holidays happening at this time. So the next holidays that come up are Sukkot and Simchat Torah. Ugh, these are some of my absolute favorite holidays. So Sukkot is a week-long holiday and the first two days and the last two days are Yom Tov and the middle days are what we call Ho Hom Wed. They have some different rules but in general we're allowed to go out, drive, talk on the phone, that sort of thing on those Ho Hom Wed days and on the Yom Tov days again it's like Shabbat where we are not doing work. During the Yom Tov days we are having our festive meals, we are lighting our candles in the evenings and all the sorts of normal things that we would do on a festive Yom Tov day. Now on Sukkot we are dwelling outside in our sukkah which is a structure that we build outdoors. I will link to videos in the description box below that will show our sukkah from past years and have more things about Sukkot and better descriptions than this brief little blurb that I'm giving you in this video. So the final two days are Shmini Atzeret and Simchat Torah. They are Yom Tov, so again, days that are very similar to Shabbat in our observance of not doing work. Shemini Atzeret features the prayer for rain, officially commemorating the start of the Israeli rainy season, as well as the Yizkor prayer, where we ask God to remember the souls of the departed. So we spend a lot of Simcha Torah dancing with the Torah. It is a super high point there in the high holidays as far as just being utterly joyous. There's just so much dancing and singing. There's candy for the kids. It's a really, really fun time. Now, I don't think that I have any additional videos about Simcha Torah. So what I will try to do this year as we get closer to that holiday is make one or two videos at that time all about Simcha Torah and how we celebrate that here. 
Sukkot this year begins on Sunday, October 9th and ends on Sunday, October 19th. Simchat Torah this year will begin on the evening of Monday, October 17th, and it will end after nightfall on Tuesday, October 18th. The high holiday period in general is one of great emotions for me personally. There are these high points of joy and celebration like on Rosh Hashanah and Sivchat Torah and there are points of just such introspection and prayer and closeness to Hashem, to God, like on Yom Kippur where I always end up inevitably crying at some point on Yom Kippur. It's just what I do while I'm praying. There's just so much packed into this month in addition to hosting meals and spending time with family and just all of the things, of course, that normal mothers must do. But it is a great time. I look forward to this all year. For me, it's just such this wonderful opportunity for growth in my Judaism in so many different levels. So anyways, that is a super quick nutshell version of what the high holidays are. I hope that you enjoyed this video. For more information, again, check out that description box below. I have a lot of videos that I will link to in there as well as my holiday playlist if you're interested in Jewish holidays in general. General. All right, so stay tuned for some more high holiday content coming up over the next month or so as we actually enter the high holidays. All right, thank you so much, all of you, for being here. As always, I super appreciate it. Please be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. I would absolutely love to see you here again. And with that, we're calling this video a close. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your day, and I will see you in my next upload. Year. It's the first day of the G it is the first day of the year on the Jewish exceptions, but in general we are uh but in general in general we are not doing creative work and like we'll include a lot of honey or dried fruits in our we we in my family we like to I have some Sukkot this year begins. No, so now it's one no, no, no. Simchat Torah this year will begin the evening of Monday, October 17th. Ha! And it will end after nightfall on two. There's just so much packed into this month. So much. Wow. Yeah.